Hey people on the internet, welcome back. It's a pretty chilly minus 20 day here in Canada, but I just cleaned up my workspace and I'm ready to start my next project here. If you caught my last video, I just swapped out the motor mounts and I ran into an issue with the uh, old snub mount bracket that I had uh, in which I snapped a bolt uh, C problem here. This is the 034 Motorsport uh, snub mount and bracket as well but there are slots here for this reason. So you can just loosen those up. And in my case, I'll want to shift the bracket up a little bit to give me some room. I have a unique problem of screwing up earlier and uh, breaking off one of the bolts. So this is just tack welded in place, which is gonna stop me from moving this up today. So in order to fix that problem permanently, I'm going to have to take out the lower core support. And that piece is just one of a few that makes up the, the front carrier, which is this entire front section right here, not including the bumper, but basically everything from here to there as an imaginary outline is going to have to come off. So even though it's more work than I ever counted on taking on, in the true spirit of this channel, which is me learning things the hard way and doing the research so you don't have to do those things, I'm still looking forward to it. I've been moving on and the front lock carrier is in Audi service position and in order to get a little bit more space and pull things out further, I decided to take off the uh, bottom side mount intercooler piping and the first one that came off gave me a nice bucket of oil. So now I have to figure out what potentially might be going on there. I know my PCV system is fine, but maybe that's a sign of something worse. Hopefully not. We'll see. So I just pulled off the other two pieces of this side mount intercooler piping on the passenger side. This is the top one. It sits like that. Uh, there's no oil in it, so that's good. When I pulled off the bottom one though, um, some oil did come out, not too much, so I'm feeling okay about it, and uh, nothing came out of the bottom of the turbo, which makes me pretty happy. If anyone knows about this, please drop me a comment, but otherwise, I know I've personally changed out the PCV on this car two or three times in my ownership, um, and there's a few times before that too, so I think it's okay. So I took a few more things off, like the headlights to give myself more working room later in the upcoming project. But now that the front lock carrier is in service position, I get a moment of validation because I get to go down and pull out the snub mount out of its bracket, um, which was stuck there before against the engine. So with one hand and a knee, she's out. It's a new day. I'm trying to do a little bit every night. And what's going on right now is that I'm attempting to not disconnect the AC system or drain the coolant. Uh, my goal is to sneak out the uh, lower core support uh, without having to detach anything, and I think I can do it. What I found is that there are only two T30 torque screws that actually hold the back of the fan shroud to this lower core support. Um, so I'm hitting them with a bunch of penetrating oil to get these things out without a problem because I won't have any room to drill out these if it goes wrong. So unfortunately, I guess I'm not quite as smart as I thought I was. Um, I have everything loose and uh, you actually could drop this out um, once you just kind of slid forward the lock carrier and uh, slid this through the middle um, and it wouldn't interfere with the coolant. You could keep that in there, that's no problem. Um, but what it actually turns out to be is the power steering cooler. Um, the two lines run through the lower core support um, so I won't be able to slide this thing out because of that. I've decided to pull apart the, the lines right here, not only because it's closest to the front but inspecting the lines elsewhere up the system. There's no place where they've been connected with a, a band clamp that just screws closed, so I'm gonna have to break these crimped uh, bands anyways. But before I do that, I'll evacuate the system as much as I can with my Mighty Vac evacuator. I'll go in right through the top of the reservoir to do that. The cooling lines are off and that was pretty easy. I was surprised to see how dark the old power steering fluid was. Some of it down in the cooler was still a bit of a sort of golden yellow but what came out of the, the main lines in the reservoir out of the extractor here was really kind of dark and gross. If you compare it against, uh, this is a brand new bottle of Audi power steering fluid. Uh, they're doing green these days, but clearly these are, these are not the same things. So there she is, got it off. So not that this is really a myth that needed busting, but point proven that you can take out your lower core support without removing anything else from the front lock carrier or removing it entirely. I really did not want to touch the, the AC system, but it worked out just fine. The final step was kind of tricky. It was just a matter of shimmying it out from between the, uh, the crash bar reinforcement and the back of the lock carrier the whole way. Uh, really, 
the unforeseen trick was uh, getting this bolt to go behind everything as it sort of slid its way down through the section, uh, but it came out. And as you can tell from the oil on the ground, not surprisingly, uh, this integrated piece of uh, airflow from uh, the two side mount intercoolers had oil in it too. Finally, I'm at the first mile marker on this part of the project where this is out. And again, you can see that I snapped off uh, one of the, the three bolts. It got tack welded into place. But I just realized I have a new challenge. And that is, you can see there's a bit of an order of operation that uh, went into the manufacturing that's going to make this tricky. So the backside of these three bolts are just pressed into this piece. And then this piece was welded to the bottom with a core support. Meaning, if I wanted to tap a new bolt into here to get rid of this problem, I actually can't reach it. The, uh, the bottom of the integrated bit of the, uh, the charge system is blocking its path. What's becoming more clear is a better solution may be to just find a replacement lower core support entirely and remount the 034 snub mount bracket onto it. I also thought it was kind of disappointing to see how much rust was forming along the weld lines that mounted the, uh, this part of the bracket to the, the air carrying section. And that part's really important because although this metal is pretty thick and this is still somewhat surface, if this rust breaks through to the other side, that's a boost leak. Um, and this piece is really heavy. I'm starting to wonder what the structural role is of this piece. I think there's obviously some, but I wonder if there's a better way to manufacture or rebuild a piece like this to still do its job, but save weight and reduce risk. As always, thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe if you want to continue following my project as it goes. See ya!